My name is Hein, I'm a consultant psychiatrist and I'm editor of the Archives of Global Psychiatry and we have a YouTube channel. Today I would like to talk about the therapy of uh, obsessive compulsive disorder and at the end I will give you a quite uh, impressive example of a young woman uh, suffering from OCD. Right, okay, let's start with the uh, normal management. Usually it's CBT. That's recommended by the NICE, National Institute of Clinical Excellence. And it includes um, exposure and response prevention. There's other behavioral therapy uh, where response prevention is also used. And usually it means um, that uh, people are put into an, a situation where the OCD is triggered and they um, they're not allowed to run away and by the time they get used to this, the anxiety goes. There's an interesting um, approach on this from the um, Institute in Marburg who, who use a very similar approach in a very systematic way. If you're interested, Marburg is a German city in Germany and you can look this up, CBT and the city. Right, okay. Uh, cognitive therapy, let's say thinking and um, thinking and discussing this issue, sometimes less efficient. General psychotherapy, which is supportive or psychoanalytic, can be tried if, if other symptoms uh, can be addressed as well. But uh, focused on um, OCD, it's very, uh, let's say that way, the evidence is very limited. So medications usually help, and usually the first start are SSRIs, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, such as fluoxetine, fluvoxamine, sertraline, paroxetine, and escitalopram. And uh, if they don't work, one can try a second general or second choice antidepressant, which is clomipramine, um, has been uh, shown to uh, be efficacy Efficacy, have some efficacy for years in, um, in OCD. And it works for ruminations as well as actions. Um, so venlafaxine is also another uh, option. Usually patients with OCD need a bit of a higher dosage than people with depression and anxiety in general. Um, there's also other um, therapies which are augmentative, which are antipsychotics, and these must be, um, these uh, are chosen more often when the um, symptoms are more psychotic and uh, then, you know, Risperdone, Haloperidone can be efficacy, have some efficacy. Olanzapine, Ketiapine, Ariprepazole and Pariperidone might be other options, but might have um, less efficacy. There are short-term uh, dosage of clonazepam and buspirone, which might help with the anxiety, but very often doesn't change the ruminations. Other augmentations which can be tried are lamotrigine, topiramat, memantine, silicocoxib, and dexamphetamine and caffeine. So, but I usually, uh, what your doctor or what a doctor would should try first is the SSIs, venlafaxine and clomipramine. Um, in severe cases, ECT has been recommended and sometimes it helps. And in very dramatic cases, which might be more often found in the, uh, in the, video, uh, in the TV or videos, uh, psychosurgery might be used. This is for uh, treatment resistant patients who had antidepressants in different combinations for an ECT, uh, CBT and um, where there are um, where are there are severe symptoms which are debilitating, right? Usually the cause um, is a sudden onset or st slow onset. Sometimes you know people have a delay in in telling the story because they uh, feel ashamed of having ruminations about whatever uh, about order about putting things into um, whatever prime numbers or acting in prime numbers, endlessly having to close doors, uh, checking doors, washing their hands. So they find it very um, traumatic and don't want to talk about that. So some sometimes they're already chronic when people start talking about these issues. 
then the outcome is very often, you know, as you have improvement in a third of the people, some people have um, worsening of symptoms again, 30%, and there's improvement, uh, moderate improvement in 40 to 50% of the people who are treated. So usually, um, if people very often can't avoid their compulsions or their uh, ruminations, and um, I recently had a patient who couldn't cope with a specific food, and instead of coming to the um, to the treatment psychotherapy, which would be um, challenging and response prevention, he avoided that. So if you avoid the uh, treatment, that's not a good prognosis. Um, if it's already longer, if the er or onset is earlier, that's not good. Not a good thing. Bizarre compulsions or hoarding. Uh, symmetry might be something uh, different to deal with. When people have comorbidity, depression, or severe delusional beliefs, or overvalued ideas, or personality disorder, this usually shows a poor prognosis. It's better if people had a good social and uh, occupational functioning before they're developing these episodes. So now, um, so now I remember a case of um, a young girl who studied a Japanese study. She was studying in Australia and was there for a year. And she was absolutely fine when she left, but she left as she developed something of a feeling like order. So, and she had to go up the stairs in prime numbers. So if she, so it's either, you know, she, if it doesn't work, she had to go back. So it's once and two times up and down three times, up and down, uh, five times up and down, seven times up and down, and then again, 11 times up and down, and eventually uh, she would then um, come up the, uh, the stairs. Anyway, so she, she took her so long and so many rituals to eat that uh, she sometimes, she and her mother needed uh, five hours to eat because it had to be reheated, had to be in precise orders on the table, and it was uh, devastating to the studies and to the girl. And uh, in this case, she already had tried different anti uh, antidepressants and without effect, CBT, psychotherapy, nothing helped. And I started some antipsychotic. In this case, I started olanzapine because the anxiety was very strong. And strange enough, I referred her to the psychotherapy and before that had a waiting list of two to three months. And when she started psychotherapy, uh, three months later, she was symptom free. So that can happen if you're lucky. So, so sometimes uh, possibly going a little bit off the track with the medication when everything else has been tried might be an option. Right. Um, thanks for your interest. If you are interested in more of these lectures, then please subscribe to our channel, YouTube. Global Psychiatry Archives, and uh, if you like it, just let us know that you like it, and I hope you have a nice Sunday today. Um, we have a con conference in the near future where we will have very excellent speakers from around the world, and uh, if you're interested, check our website www.globalpsychiatryassociation.com. Thanks for your interest.